People sometimes think that in the Stone Age they were much shorter and smaller than us. That's not actually the case. This arrow, I made this and I shoot it with this bow and the arrow suits the bow. And the bow suits the archer as well. Somebody who makes bows would be able to look at that bow and say that's made for somebody between six foot three and six foot six in height because if it's too short for the person they pull it back too far and the limbs bend too much and it breaks if it's too long for the person it's not very efficient so we can say that that's definitely made for someone between six three and six six so just short of two meters and, and I'm about six foot four, 198 centimetres, something like that. So I made that for me. But the interesting thing is that this is a copy of a bow that was found in Somerset, which has been carbon dated back to 2550 BC. So it's a very old one, four and a half thousand years old. But the original bow was only about two or three centimetres shorter than this one. So the original archer was at least six foot, six foot one tall. And the last thing that I'd say is that we can tell from the width of the bow and its thickness how much strength you need to be able to pull it back. And this bow is a copy, as I say, all but length of the original. It's the same thickness, the same width. So the original archer that this was made for wasn't just tall and thin, he was tall and perfectly proportioned like I am. In other words, you know, he was a pretty big and uh, handsome bloke. Yes, thank you, madam. So this is what archaeology is about. It's not just about the things for their own sake. Archaeology is about what we can do to understand the people that came before us thousands of years ago. And so what I've tried to do here by making the arrowhead and, t and talking about the bow and arrow is to give an understanding of how our distant ancestors lived in Britain some five or six thousand years ago. Mm -hmm.